In this video, we are going to talk about Chagaf's rule. It's a very simple uh, rule, and uh, this was uh, the major thing which led to the discovery of the DNA structure. So, the scientist named as Erwin Chagaf. He, in the late 1940s, quantitatively analyzed the DNA hydrolysates from different species. So, Arvin Chargaff uh, collected the DNA hydrolysate samples from different species and observed them. So, his observation was that the DNA had equal number of adenine and thymine and uh, equal number of guanine and cytosine residues. So this means that there were equal number of adenine residues and thymine residues and equal number of guanine residues and cytosine residues. So this analysis is also called the Chargaff's rule of molar equivalence. between purines and pyrimidines in the DNA sequence. Chargaff's rule of molar equivalence between purines and pyrimidines in the DNA sequence. The exception of this rule is that the single-stranded DNA and RNA do not obey this rule. So, to sum this video up, according to Chargaff's rule, number one, the percentage of the adenine residues is equal to the percentage of thymine residues and the percentage of guanine residues is equal to the percentage of cytosine residues. The second observation is that adenine always pairs with thymine and guanine always pairs with cytosine. The third observation is that adenine makes double hydrogen bonds with thymine and guanine makes triple hydrogen bonds with cytosine. This can be illustrated like so that adenine pairs up with thymine through two hydrogen bonds and uh, guanine pairs up with cytosine via three hydrogen bonds. The fourth point is that the concentration of the purines that is the adenine and the guanine is always equal to the concentration of the pyrimidines that is cytosine and thymine. And the fifth point is that the ratio of A plus T to G plus C is always a constant for a particular species. So this sums up the Chagaff's rule. And these were the major observations of uh, uh, Arvind Chargaff when uh, he collected the DNA hydrolysates from different species. And also these observations were the basic criteria which helped Watson and Crick to demonstrate the structure of DNA.